We're going to talk about a while ago. A lot of people like to be here can't be here tonight. That's right. Amen. So we take it for granted. Amen. Amen. Jesus is getting ready to come back, church. Amen. Amen. The most of the church world taking that for granted. Yeah. Amen. They don't really believe it, Brother Billy. They ain't really stirred up. Because if we really believe the house would be full. Come on. Amen. If we really believe that Jesus was coming back, honey, I guarantee you we spend more time on our knees, Brother. Come on. I guarantee you we spend more time in our work. We spend more time trying to get ready for his Come coming. Amen. Because he's coming, church. Amen. We better be getting ready. Amen. He's coming. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The devil's fighting on every I'm telling you, church, That's he's right. on a war path. Because so time is short. Right. Jesus is getting ready to come back. Amen. Come on, but all we got to do, Brother David, as long as we hang on to his nail scarred hand, honey, we can make it. Amen. We can make it if we hang on to him. Amen. Yeah. It's yeah. like every time you turn around, everybody, everybody's going through battle. Yeah. But his word says that all things. Come on. Yes. That we know all things. We know. <laughs> yeah. Amen. We know that all things work yeah. together yeah. for the good. To live to love God and call according to His purpose. Yes, All things, brother David. Yes. Amen. Every battle, every trial I go through, oh, it's, it, it's going to work out. If yeah. I hang, if I just hang on to Him, it'll work out. Amen. Oh, it's time to give up. Amen. It's time to grab a hold of His nail guard hand. Yes, Amen. Right, it's time to hang on to Jesus. Amen. We got to take time for Him. Come on. That's it. The church world ain't taking time for Jesus. Absolutely. We can take time for everything else. Yeah. Exactly. Amen. We, we, we can plan vacations. We can take time yeah. for on our jobs. We take time doing this and that. Oh. Take time to sit down and watch the yeah. ticket on TV or, oh. or get on the computer. Oh. But when it comes time to take time for Jesus, honey, it seems like we can walk away from that part of it. That's it. Come on. We better start taking time for it. Yes, sir. Amen. Because yeah. he's getting ready to come back. Praise God. He, he took time for us, Brother David. Right. Amen. Yeah. He took time to step out of glory. Oh. And came and born in a manger, amen, and died on the old cross, on Calvary, amen, for you and I, we better take some time for it, amen, he took time to wake me up this morning, amen, he's taking time right now to give you that next heartbeat, come on, amen, come on, tell it, we're taking just a quick that our heart's beating, honey, he can control that, that next heartbeat belongs to him, brother, it's up to him whether that thing beats or it don't beat, amen, it's up to him, we better start taking some time for him. Amen. Yes, Get our mind off this world of stuff. Come on. Yes, One of these days, all this stuff's going to burn up. Yeah. That's right. Too many people just all, all, all over here about keeping up with the Joneses. That's it, bro. If this has got a new car, i got to have a new car. Come on, if this has got a new boat, i got to have a new boat. got a Come new on. house, i got to have a new house. Come on. Honey, you better get your mind off that kind of stuff oh. and get your mind on him. Oh. Amen. Yes, One of these days, we're leaving here. Amen. I ain't got no new car, brother Bill. Oh. I ain't got no fancy new home. Right. But I'll tell you one thing. I've got him and I've got what I need. Oh, oh, I've got all I need, Brother David. Amen. I don't have to have a fancy car. Oh. I got one got me here tonight. I'm thankful for it. Oh. Honey, we better take time oh. for Jesus. Amen. Yes, Get rid of all this other stuff. Oh. Take time for him. Oh. Amen. Oh. If you got your Bible, turn with me. That's good. And look to 12th chapter. What chapter? Luke 12. I'm going to give you a scripture first. In Ephesians 5, 16, it says, For deep time, All because right. today are evil. Yeah. Come on. If we ain't living in them days, Come on, yeah. in evil days, brother David, Come on, yeah. tell it. evil days when they can take babies and put them in garbage bags Come on. and throw them away. Honey, Come we live in evil days. In evil days when they can let men and men marry, women Come and women marry, Come then on. let them get behind the pulpit and, and leading everybody else astray. Come Honey, we live in an evil day. Honey, we better redeem some time for Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Take some time for Him. Oh, Amen. Separate from this other stuff. Redeem some time for Jesus. Oh, Amen. That's good. Luke the 12th chapter, the 16th verse. It says that he spoke a parable unto him, saying, The grant of a certain rich man brought forth plenty. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to restore my fruits? Right. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater upon them. And build greater. There will I restore all my fruits and my goods. And I will say unto my soul, so thou hast much good, laid up in many, for many years. Take thy easy, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thy fool, this night, thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whom shall that those things be which thou hast provided? Yeah. Amen. So is he that laid up treasures for himself, and not riches for God. 
Tell you all he was thinking about, Brother Billy. Yeah, yeah. Was the thing that he built up in this world. Come on. Amen. Material. About and he got so much stuff that he had to tear down his smaller barns and build greater barns. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Right. It don't matter. One of these days, brother David, it ain't gonna matter how big your bank account is, That's how on. big a barn you got, Come or on. what you got. One of these days, your soul is gonna be required oh, of you. Oh, 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 it all is gonna matter, brother David. It's what we do for Jesus. It ain't gonna matter Come how on. big fancy home we lived in, right. how much yeah. we got stored back there. Hey, this and that all is gonna happen. That stuff, somebody's gonna fight over it. Come on. Come on. And then Come on. all that's going to start to cause a bunch of division in the family. If you got a bunch of stuff laid back, they're going to fight over it. Yeah. But honey, what you got laid up there, it's going to be eternal. That's Amen. It. Ain't nobody ever going to be able to take it away from you, brother David. That's what's going to matter. Amen. It's what we, what time we took for him. Right. It ain't going to matter what time we're taking to build treasures in this world. Amen. Amen. It ain't going to matter to nothing. Amen. But what treasures we build up for him? What we build up in the glory. Amen. That's the truth. So where your heart is. Yeah, right. That's where your treasure is. Amen. Amen. So many people's heart ain't in yeah. serving the Lord. Come their on. hearts in serving the things of this world. Come on, Honey, it, it, it doesn't become their gods. That's right. Yeah. Amen. They gotta have this fancy stuff and this stuff and stuff. And, and if they had to work seven days a week to get it, that's what they're gonna do. That's what Come on. Amen. Yeah. But if it takes, I want, I want this new car. Yeah. If it takes me not being able to come to church on Sunday and I gotta work on Sunday for I pay for a car, that's what I want. Come on. Yeah. Honey, you're selling yourself out. Come on, that's that's right, right. You're selling it out. Right. You better take time for Jesus. Yeah. So, honey, before you get that car paid for, I guarantee you, don't quit on you anyway. Come on. Amen. Oh, yeah. But this thing that I'm talking about is already paid for. Honey, it ain't never going to quit. It's going to last for eternity. This thing, this thing we call life down here is just like a vapor, brother David. If we live to be 100, it's still a short time. But the place that we're going to, honey, it's eternal. It ain't never going to end. Amen. And we're going to spend eternity there. Amen. You're going to spend eternity somewhere. That's right, brother. Amen. And you're going to spend it where you built your treasures up. That's right. Come on. That's where you're going to spend it. Amen. What is your God? Amen. Yes, Which sir. one have you took for granted? Yeah. Amen. We better take time for Him. That's right. If we're taking more time spending it on other stuff, we're in trouble. Amen. Amen. We need to spend some more time. I don't. I don't. I may not be preaching to y'all. I'm preaching to people. Oh, Honey, I need to separate and start taking more time. For what God says. Amen. Amen. And for His glory. For what He wants me to do. How He wants me to do. <coughs> See, the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Come on. And all this other stuff going to be added to me. Everything I need, brother, that's going to be added to me as long as I'm seeking Him. Come on. Amen. Come on. We get in trouble because we ain't seeking Him. We're seeking the things. Amen. Amen. And there ain't nothing wrong with having things. That's right. As long as things ain't got you. Yeah. But when, they, when, they, when they're separating you from God and they got you, you're in trouble. That's it. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, the love of money is the root of all evil. Right. It don't say money is. Come on. Exactly. It ain't evil to have money. God uses money. Yeah. We need money in this church to keep these lights on. Come on. Amen. 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 Pay the rent on. Amen. Amen. God uses money. Money ain't evil. Come on. Amen. Amen. The love of it. When, when it when it separates, when you gotta have that money more than you gotta have God in trouble. Amen. Right. Money. Oh! God's got to go first. Amen. 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 We gotta take time for Him. Amen. Right. We gotta take time for Him. Amen. He took time for us. Amen. We gotta take down and be thankful. Right. Come on. Amen. We don't have no problem getting down on our knees, brother Billy, when we're in trouble. Come on. I don't have no problem when I got a need to get down there again and, and cry to him and ask him yeah. for something. Lord help me. But I have a little more trouble getting down there, Lord, that I don't really want nothing. Yeah. I just want to thank you. Yeah. I just want to be thankful for what you've already done for me. Amen. Right. Honey, we better start being thankful, amen. Come on. Not just when you're in trouble. Come on. See, Jonah cried out when he was in trouble. That's it. Yeah. When he got in the belly of that well, honey, he tried to be cried out until he got off to God. Come on. And it changed him. Come on. Amen. It changed him so much that he made a three day journey in one day. Come on. Come on. Amen. And he got there and he told him what God told him to tell him to. Yeah. Tell the people. Yeah. Can you imagine what kind of sight that was, Brother Billy? Mm. When Jonah run in there, the Bible don't say no word that Jonah went home and he took a bath and he changed clothes. Jonah come in there, he had fish guts all over him and everything else, but he come in there preaching the word of God. Amen. Come on. Right. It made a change. All right. But the first thing you know, Brother Billy, after God delivered them, yeah. where don't Jonah go? Come on. Yeah. Right back. Right. Got angry with God. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. So that's what we do most of the time. Amen. We'll cry out and we're in trouble. Yeah. But when everything's going all right, we can't even take time to say, Lord, thank you. Come on. Amen. Amen. 
Honey, we got to learn to praise Him. And we're on the mountaintop or we're in the valley. Amen. Amen. We got to learn to praise Him. We got to learn to lift Him up. We got to learn to keep time for Jesus. Amen. That time to be thankful. Come on. Yeah. Turn to Luke, the 17th chapter. Luke 17 and 11. Thank you, Jesus. And it came past that he <coughs> went to Jerusalem. That he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee, and as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten leopard men, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourself unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answered and said, asked and said, Were there not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God except this stranger. Yeah. And he said unto him, Arise and go thy, thy way, thy faith has made thee home. Mm -hmm. Honey, we got to take time to be thankful. Come on. All right. There were ten of them, Brother David. Absolutely. And they all was clean. Amen. They all was healed. Right. Sister Cindy. But there wasn't but one. Right. One that took time yeah. to come back yeah. and thank Jesus for his healing. Right. But the Bible says the one that come back was made whole. Right. Yeah. He said, Thy faith has made thee whole. There's a difference between being healed and being made whole. Right. You can be healed of a broken leg and walk with a limp. Amen. Yeah. But if you're made whole, it's like it never happened, Brother right. David. Right. Now, you ain't going to walk with a limp because it's made whole. It's right. like it never happened. That's what happened when you got out on you, on an old altar somewhere and said, Lord, forgive me all my sins. Take all my sins and wash them away. Right. Honey, when I got up from there, I was made whole. They were all clothed in the sea, forgive me, never to remember to get me again. I was made whole. Amen. Right. But we got to take time to be thankful. Amen. How many times we're not thankful, brother Bill? We have wondered why we ain't getting prayers answered because you ain't thankful for one yard answer. Yeah, exactly. Amen. Amen. How come I ain't got a how come I ain't got a new car? You ain't thankful for what you got. Absolutely. Amen. Come how on. come I ain't got a pocket full of money? You ain't thankful for what little money you got. That's right. Or maybe you ain't paying tithe on the little money you got. Oh, 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 oh. Or maybe oh. you ain't giving to the in the offer to God's glory. Amen. You're taking your money and you're working it on work worth of things. God ain't gonna give you no more to work on that thing. That's right. Give more to Jesus if he won't increase it. Come on. His word says you will. Come on. Amen. Amen. If we'll give it to him. Right. It all belongs to him anyway, brother David. Amen. Come on. Amen. I've heard people growl because they had to pay 10%. I don't know why I'm getting off on them. 10% on the tithe. Honey, really, you're not paying God nothing. That's right. Come he owns it all. He's giving you 90. Come on. Amen. He's giving you 90. Right. Amen. But we got we got to take time to be thankful for what he's given us, Brother Bill. Yeah. Amen. We might not like everything we got. Amen. Right. I've got a trailer over there that it, old as the hills. I thank God for it every day. The roof leaks on it. But brother, I'm thankful that I got a roof. Amen. Yeah. I'm thankful that I ain't living under a bridge somewhere, church. Amen. I'm thankful that I ain't living in a cardboard box. Amen. There's people out there that hold up their shape. Right. Like Brother Bill said, you don't have to look very far. Yeah. Honey, you'll find somebody that's got it worse than you got it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We, we better be thankful for what we got, sir. We are not. We ain't living over here. Come on. Amen. Come on. We better be thankful for what we got. Amen. We can still carry our Bibles. Amen. We still got a church that we can come to and we can praise the Lord in. You better be thankful for what you got. That's it. Amen. Amen. But we got to take time to be thankful. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Come on, Take time every now and then. Just get out on the knee. Not asking for nothing, Brother David. Yeah. But I'm saying just thank you for what he's already done. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If he never does another thing for you, he's done done enough when he's done it at Calvary. Yeah. Amen. Oh. If he never does enough thing, oh, he's done enough. Preach. But we gotta be thankful. Yeah. Oh, we gotta take time to be thankful to him, amen. Yes, sir. Amen. First Thessalonians five and six eighteen, I think. I got it wrote down. Five and eighteen says, And everything give thanks for this. It's the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Come on. Everything. Amen. Amen. We ought to be thankful in everything. Come every on. situation. Right. Every battle. Amy's got a toothache. Mm -hmm. Everything she's got a toothache, I guess. Come on. Now, I know it's hard. It's hard when you're in the middle of a battle. Yeah. Brother Bill. It's hard to be thankful when you're in a battle. I mean, and, and, and trials going on. It's hard when your legs hurt and, and, and your back's hurting. Every time you got a back. Come on. Amen. Amen. 
There's so many people out there that, 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 that paralyzed and laying in beds. Come on. Amen. Right. Used to be one come over Sister Judy's church. They'd roll in on a bed. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Couldn't talk. Right. They'd roll in on a, in a hospital bed. Amen. Where he could come to service. Yeah. Amen. And there we sat on our pews. Come on. Church, we need to be thankful. Amen. Amen. We need to be thankful. We ought to be thankful that we got a place that we can come to. That we got the freedom. Amen. To worship Him. The Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is. Or delivers Liberty. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of churches you ain't got no liberty because they ain't got no spirit. That's right. Amen. Right. You better be thankful Amen. for what we got. Amen. Exactly. Take time to be thankful. Amen. Take time to pray. Turn with me to Luke 10 chapter. Yes. Luke 10 and 38. And now it came to pass that when they had entered into a certain village, there was a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was about, about much serving and came to him saying, Lord, does I not care that my sister had left me to serve alone? He had heard her poor that she helped me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But the one thing that needful, and Mary has chosen the good part which shall not be taken away from her. So we got to take time. Right. To spend time at Jesus' feet. Yeah. Amen. Right. We can do a lot of good things in church. Come on. Amen. We can come to church every Sunday and listen to the benefit, but we ain't taking no time. Come on. to Jesus' feet. <coughs> Amen. We're missing out Come on. on one part that's really needful for the Amen. If we're coming in and all we're doing is sitting on our pews and we ain't getting up and working, we're missing out Come on a thing that's needful. Amen. Yeah. Honey, we need to we need to get every bit up. We need Come to take on. time to praise Amen. him, take time to worship him, take time to pray, Amen. Take Come time on. for Jesus, Amen. Paul Silas was in the jail. Amen. And they've been beaten or many stripes and laid up on him in the sixteenth chapter of Acts. The Bible says at midnight when they began to sing and praise him, they, they took time, even though they've been beaten, him, and even though they've been tormented, they had to be hurting, Brother David. They took time him, to start praising, start lifting up, and the Bible said the jailhouse started rocking. Right. Amen. And the thing came down. Amen. And it was loose and set free. Amen. But why? Because they took time for Jesus. Amen. Amen. They could have laid down there and said, oh, woe well, is me. Yeah. I'm going through this trial like we do. Yeah. Like I do. Come on. This old battle. Why does it always happen to me? Yeah. Everybody, it seems like everything's going hard for everybody else and everything's happened to me. Come on, and they've still been in that jail today. Amen. <laughs> but they started praying to him. Honey, I don't find out something. If we start praying to him, when our trials come from us, we start praying to him for trials. I don't believe our trials last near as long as we do. Amen. If we start lifting him up, amen, I think our trials will pass away, amen. Brother Hinton used to say a long time ago, he said, you could praise yourself way out of anything. That's right. I believe that today, amen. Right. We need to praise you right in the middle of our trials, amen. Right. Take time to lift him up. Right. Take time to spend with Jesus, amen. Pray without ceasing. Come on. Yeah. Amen. It's true. For the Bible, Bible says pray without ceasing. Right. Yeah. And I know we can't walk around praying all the time, but we keep a heart. A prayer on our heart, amen. Amen. Yeah. amen. Honey, we better spend some time with him, amen. Yeah. Separate ourselves. From this old world. Amen. Take time to study well, uh, the word. 2 Timothy 2 and 15. It says, Study to show thyself approved. Come on. Unto God a workman that right, needeth not to be ashamed and rightly yeah. divided the word of God. Come on. Yeah, the word of truth. Most people want to say, That's for the preacher. Come on. But this old fashioned King James, I don't want the middle Bible. Come on. But it don't say preacher study to show. <coughs> it says study. Yeah. Show. So, if all the word that you're getting is you're getting here, right. you're in trouble. Come on. Amen. Right. I'm thankful for the word that we get here, but honey, you yeah, need not marking your seats with the Bible, taking it at home and opening it up every now and then and yeah. getting in his word. Amen. Take a little bit of time to get in God's word. Amen. Right. Separate yourself from the world and the things on the TV. Turn that thing off for a minute and just get in his word. If you don't read but one scripture a day, that's something. Amen. Oh. Get in something. That's a good place to start. Amen. Yeah. The first thing you know, you'll get to feeding off of it. I know when I start studying, Brother Billy, some most of the time, uh, sometimes when I open it up, I seem like I can't get nothing. Yeah. 
But as long as I keep on studying a little bit, a little bit, then directly that anointing will come in. Oh. And that, when that anointing comes in, you start studying, God starts throwing you. Yeah. Then you can't hardly lay it down. Oh. Amen. Yeah. And, and it's, it's something, but you got to start. Amen. Yeah. we got to start to study. Show us that for We better get some of this word inside of us, honey. Yeah. One of these days, these Bibles, we may not have them no more. Amen. Right. We better take time and study. Right. And get ready to meet Come Jesus. On. Come on. Amen. Get it, in, get it in our hearts. Amen. Take time for church. Hebrews right. the 10th chapter. Press. Press and the 25th way. verse says forsake. No. Not the same. The more as you see the day approach. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Send us up together as a matter of some is. But exalt to one another even so much more as you see the day approach. Yeah. Come together. Come to church. Yeah. Take time for exactly. Jesus. Amen. Not only take time to come to church, but it says matter is but adulting one another. Yeah. Come to lift each other up. Right. I mean, don't come to kick somebody down, brother David. Oh, but come that you that you can be a light, that you can be a help, honey. I guarantee, if you come to be a blessing, you'll get a blessing. That's right. Yeah, come on. That's the answer to getting a blessing. To come to be a blessing. But we got to take time right. to come and worship Him, brother David. Amen. I mean, we got to take time to come and, and lift each other up, not, not not beat each other down, and put each other. Up. <laughs> but come to lift right. each other up. Yeah. Amen. Right. Take time for Jesus. Amen. Take time for Him. Amen. He took time for us at Calvary. Amen. Yes, sir. We better take time for Him. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. What an awful place. Pray without season. Take time for Jesus. Amen. We got to take time for Him. All right. This thing is wrapping up. Yeah. Yes, sir. And He took time for us. Amen. That's it. He's, he's give us everything we need. Exactly. To make Come it. On. If we don't make it, Brother Billy, it'd be because we didn't take our time. Absolutely. We should redeem that time Absolutely. that God give us. Amen. Amen. It don't matter the day you was born, the day you die, it all matters what you done with time in between. Yeah. What you done for Jesus. It ain't gonna matter what kind of car you got, what kind of home you got. When you leave this world, all it's gonna matter is what you've done for Jesus. Right. Amen. What 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 time have you spent with him? Amen. Amen. It ain't gonna matter how much time I spent helping Brother Billy or helping Amen. Brother David because we need to do that, amen. Right. But what really matters, if you're doing it for the Lord, then it might matter. But your work can't get you there. What I'm talking about, right. we gotta take time for Jesus, amen. amen. Take time to do what he wants wants us to do. That's Amen. Right. Take time to do his calling. Yes, Whatever he's placed on your life to do, do it. Yes, sir. Amen. Well, Even when the world says you ought, you ought to be doing it. Yes. Now I know but this has come from Brother Billy's mind several times. Yeah. You know, it wasn't very many comments, stuff like that. Where the devil's going to throw it where you might as well close the door. And any time to close the door. God said, open them. You can't close them. God said, close them. Amen. Amen. No matter what, nobody comes. You still can't close them. Amen. Amen. You got to keep going. got to keep preaching. got to keep seeking the Lord. Don't nobody want to hear you preach. You still got to preach. Come on. Amen. Amen. I can't, I can't just get... I'm, I hope I can help somebody make it. But I know one thing, Brother David. If I quit preaching, I can't make it. Because they called me to preach His Word. Amen. If I don't do what He called me to do, I ain't going to make it. Amen. I want to make it. Amen. Amen. But it's going to take time. Yes, we got to take time for Jesus. Come on. Amen. we got to lay some of this other stuff aside. Amen. And take time for Jesus. We plan yeah. everything else. Yeah. We never have, we don't have trouble planning vacations. That's right. Do this or that. Yeah. But it seems like we have trouble when it comes. Take a time for Him. Yes, sir. Amen. That's true. I've heard people say, well, I'd, I'd go to that church with just a little bit too far to get out. Yeah. Gas is high. Yeah. A little pertinent. Even they might come all the way to one for a gas high, a little bit further to go. Yeah. yeah. That's what God tells you to go. Oh. Amen. You better go. That's yes, Amen. And the same people, most of them, don't have no trouble in this holiday world. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They don't have no trouble spending. They got gas in, brother David. Oh. Amen. They got time in to go and, and do what they want to do in the world. Amen. I mean, there's, there's people that say, well, I just didn't feel like going to church this morning. Yeah. But this afternoon you're sitting in Walmart. Something wrong. Oh. Amen. Yeah. Something wrong. Oh. It's, it's just that they ain't taking the time for the right situation. Amen. Right. They're taking time for everything else in the world. We better take time for Jesus. Yeah. True. He's getting ready to come back. That's the yeah. truth. And his Bible says he's coming back after church and made their stuff ready. Yes, sir. Made ready. Oh. I mean, we got to make ourselves ready, brother. Amen. Yeah. And to get ready, we're going to take time. Come on. Yeah. Amen. I got to take more time That's being in the Word. I got to take more time on my knees. Amen. Oh, Seeking Him. Find right out what He wants me to do. Amen. Come on. Follow Him. We got to take time for Jesus. Come on. Church, that's what it's all about. That's Taking true. more time for Jesus. That's 
Amen. Hallelujah. That's what the Lord gave me. Get the Lord hand for his word. Amen.